KETV News Watch 7's Joey Safchik is here with the abortion debate, which may be the last one for the session. Right, Rob, Julie. Debate wasn't only about six weeks versus 12 weeks. Senators also discussed penalties doctors may face, exceptions for rape, incest, and fetal abnormalities, even the separation of church and state. But at the end of the day, nothing changes for now. Hours and hours of debate Thursday likely changing nothing about abortion access in Nebraska. I'm not comfortable deciding for someone else whether they should have an abortion or not. Nebraska is a pro-life state and this is what Nebraskans want. The debate centered around Senator Merv Reapy of Ralston and his amendment to change the restriction from six weeks to 12, still down from the current 20. My experience is that change is generally best when made incrementally, not major change, and especially when highly controversial change is best when both parties at odds find neither gets everything that they want. But Senator Joni Albright, sponsor of the Heartbeat Act, had a vocal contingency of staunch supporters opposing the looser 12-week restriction. It protects pre-born babies once the heartbeat can be detected instead of from conception. That is a big compromise and a change that I did not want to ever have to make. But um, that's where we're at. Some senators see Nebraska as a safe haven for abortion access among surrounding states, while others see it as an outlier and don't want it to be a destination for the procedure. We cannot and should not impose an extreme ban on all Nebraska women. I trust Nebraska women and doctors. I think you know, sometimes government should plow the way and then get out of the way. But I made it very clear that I was pro-life from conception to natural death and in between. Some of the senators who seemed most open to compromise say they appreciate how the amendment began a conversation about how to move forward. But it does appear that conversation is paused for the rest of the session.